Hi quilting friends, this is Pamela of Pamela Quilts and I am here with block 8 of June Mini Madness 2021. We are making uh, 4 inch blocks and 6 inch blocks and this block is called Susanna. It's a variation of yesterday's block. We're still making the same square diamond in a square unit for the center but we're adding um, squares instead of rectangles for the sides. So for this block you will need one two and a half inch square of your background fabric, eight one and a half inch squares of your medium, four one and a half inch squares of your background, and four one and a half inch squares of your medium fabric. Did I say medium? This is light. Eight light, four background, four medium. For your six inch squares, you'll need three and a half inch square of your background, two inch squares, eight for your medium, and no, eight for your light. Don't know why I want to call that medium. Eight for your light fabric, four for your background fabric, and four for your medium fabric. So we're going to start out making our square in a square unit or diamond in a square unit using our using four of the light squares and your background square. Let's do this the exact same way we did it yesterday. We're going to sew, and you can draw a line to sew on if you like. I'm going to go straight from one side of that square to the other. And you can buy a tape that will have a line marked right there. That makes it super easy. To, uh, sew these as well. I also have this laser thing I bought that I can stick on my machine that'll, but it, it's kind of annoying to tell you the truth. I guess if, I, if I'm using it to make a whole bunch of these, I'll use it, but mostly I don't bother to put it on because it's just kind of annoying. <laughs> I don't like the red light those out. Line up the remaining two. And so then... I bumped you. Did you shake? See that shaking there? It wasn't an earthquake. It was just me. All right. Line that all nice and pressed out. So now we're going to, these will be the corners, and then we're going to sew these into pairs. It'll go that'll sew to the uh, diamond in a square unit. So just a little bit of, and if you would like, you could also, you could, you could strip piece these as well. There's only four, so it's not that hard to just chain piece them. trickier part on this one is that we'll be matching this seam with that corner seam. So that adds just that little extra challenge to the block. But that's fine, right? We like challenges. That's how we grow. So these are going to I'll be alternating all the way around this like that and then these guys go in the corners like that so we're just going to put it together just like 
we did the yesterday's block. Right now, here's the challenge here. Now, supposedly, if everything is accurate, right, it shouldn't be a problem. You should just be able to just sew that right on there. Let's see. Oh, oh that see. That looks pretty good. That's why I always encourage accuracy at you know with every step of your sewing because it really does take a lot of the uh, or a lot of the thinking out of it. A lot of the you know figuring out oh well, that doesn't work. What do I do now? It's not matching up. If everything's accurate, it should match up. Then you don't have to worry about it. You can just sew. So if you're not matching up, it's worth taking the time to figure it out. It's like, why is this, see? Why is it not matching up? What am I doing that's not helping my accuracy? And it could be, could be your seam allowance, could be your ruler. When I was first, when I was first quilting, I had a three inch by 24 inch ruler and the marking on one edge was a good amount off. I don't know what happened when it was manufactured. It was just printed wrong. So I learned to adjust my, so my, when I cut with that ruler, I learned to adjust so my cuts were more accurate, but it was a real pain. So that, that said, um, check your ruler, check it against another ruler and make sure, make sure that that's accurate. And then of course, the number of the other big factor is seam allowance and sometimes that takes practice some machines have a setting that gives you a good quarter inch um, my machine has a line that says a quarter inch and then the foot is a little narrower than the line so I find that that quarter inch mark is pretty darn accurate so I try to sew to there most of the time and so there's your block. This is Susanna. This is block eight. I hope yours comes out accurately and that you have fun sewing it. And we'll be back tomorrow with block nine. Thanks a lot. Bye.